We started off from nothing, if you like, from our lounge room in East Bentley to what the industry is today. The beginning occurred from looking overseas and seeing the development of plumbing products overseas, mainly the ISH fair in Frankfurt. We saw that the, the trends were to cross-link polyethylene, mainly because of temperature and pressure. Uh, we were able to have a look at this and see how it applied to Australia. And that was important to us because we wanted to have an Australian product manufactured in Australia for Australian plumbers, for Australian conditions. So the first thing you have to do is to, to create and demand. That was the biggest hurdle because most plumbers thought about the, the plastic hose that degraded in the, in the yard. It was a big change for them to decide that they'd go into a, using a plastic material in their, in their industry. It has to be very plumber friendly and the plumber's ability to buy it at every restore around Australia and when he takes it on site it can be very quickly put in And we are still the only ones making product to AS2492 in this country. The tests allowed us to extrapolate lifespans. It, it showed in excess of normal working conditions that the product would perform. Some of these tests were uh, over a year. Making sure the fittings worked, the joints worked, the tools worked, and the product could be consistently manufactured to the highest standard. Be able to flexibly thread pipe through studs and, and uh, and top and bottom plates in buildings made it very easy, easy for the plumber to, to install in a house. I think the best thing about this business has been being able to adapt to the changes in the industry. When we brought this product out there were very few competitors in the synthetic piping range but there's been an influx of many products and some of these have been different dimensions and different materials and so the plumber at the end of the day was being bombarded with different products and our ability to have adapters using our existing tooling to adapt to these conditions, especially for the maintenance plumber, has been really fantastic. 